Hey, fatty! Guess what? Coffee makes you fucking fat. And in this video, I'm going to explain why it makes you fat. So, why coffee makes you fat? Number one reason. It unnaturally cranks up your cortisol levels. Your cortisol should not be fucking cranked up unless you're running from a fucking tiger or getting chased by a guy with a knife. So people that are sitting in their little box office job, drinking coffee and sugar all day, keep their cortisol cranked up all fucking day and it's completely fucking catabolic. And it makes you fucking store fat and you feel good for a little while at a fucking cost of breaking down muscle and storing fucking fat amongst 20,000 other side effects. So, it's catabolic, which means it breaks down fucking muscle. Because what happens, this is, goes back to the caveman days. If you're getting chased by a lion, flight or fight response, flight or fight, flight or fucking tongue twister. What'll happen is it'll wrap your body up quick so you can run like a madman away from this lion at a cost of your liver will start producing crazy amounts of sugar. And then your fucking muscles will get broken down to produce sugar. That's what happens. Adrenaline gets cranked up too. These are fight or flight responses. 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is basically like a fucking glass of coffee, will crank up your cortisol levels 30% in one hour. 30 fucking percent in one hour. You know how bad this is for people that are like sedentary? Like it's fucking insanely bad. This is the whole problem. It's this vicious cycle. People are stressed, drink their fucking coffee every day. Will stay high, cortisol will stay high as long as 18 hours. So guess what? It's high when you sleep. Guess what? It inhibits REM sleep. Guess what? The last part of your sleep when you're in REM sleep is when you burn the most body fat. So I, I experimented with coffee for two fucking months, okay? Because I wanted to prove that I needed to see. Because I always experiment. I drank two fucking cups of black coffee when I was fasting. It did absolutely fuck all for me. In fact, it fucked up my sleep. And then it also actually almost fucked up my energy levels where it was like, because I had so much energy before because I was sleeping so good. All of a sudden I was like jittery almost. So when I was going to do like my heavy lifts in the gym, it's like I didn't have the fucking raw strength. Like I hadn't lost any muscle at that point, but it was like I was, I couldn't focus. It was like I was too ramped up. And like, so, and then it fucks, as soon as it, anything that fucks your sleep needs to be immediately taken out of your lifestyle. Anything that fucks your sleep. So if coffee fucks your sleep, that's the, all the reason I need. You can go look up any fucking positive things about coffee. <coughs> Anything you want. Any positive shit. My voice is getting hoarse because I'm yelling so fucking loud. I need a drink. Two seconds. Cayenne pepper in the morning. It's good for you. People will look up every fucking thing they want to rationalize that coffee's good. And you know what? I tried to because I got fucking addicted to that shit after two months. And I was trying to rationalize that it was good. It isn't fucking... There's nothing positive about drinking coffee. If you need your coffee, that means your sleep is fucked. If you're getting a good sleep, you won't need the coffee in the first fucking place. It's that simple. If you fucking crave the coffee, anything your body fucking craves... There's a fucking low vibration addiction. It needs to be cut out of your fucking life. And it's, that's it. It's a fucking addiction. It's just like fucking having sugar. Okay? By the way, while we're on this cortisol topic, everything, fucking smoking weed increases cortisol unnaturally. Smoking fucking cigarettes. Pretty much anything that fucking snaps up your heart rate is going to fucking increase your cortisol. And it stays high for so long. 18 hours, so it's high throughout your whole fucking sleep. And you can't get it, and you might even think you're sleeping good, but you don't even know what good sleep is until you actually have no stress in your life and your cortisol levels are nice and low all the time. You have no fucking clue what it feels like to get a truly awesome sleep and not wake up to an alarm clock. So, cut the fucking coffee. Cut the fucking caffeine. Green tea I used to pound too. It's still got caffeine in it. If you're drinking tea, caffeine-free tea. Okay, um, fucking chocolate, fucking dark chocolate's got a fucking pile of caffeine in it too. 
Fuck, I cut that out. I used to eat dark chocolate because it was like high in fat and it looked to be good. But I, you know, even me, like since I started doing this, I've learned a lot. I'm not the same guy as I was fucking a year ago. I started fucking fasting hardcore. I learned stuff every day. So, by the way, have you ever seen any videos where I'm contradicting myself? Tell me and I'll like, fucking get rid of them. But usually most of the shit I said in the past is still pretty valid. So, but coffee's fucking trash. I won't even coach people. When I do my fasting coaching, like one-on-ones, I won't even coach people if they're fucking drinking caffeine. Because, and guess what? The fucking worst people to deal with pushing them through a long fast at the start are people that drink coffee with lots of sugar. I even had one girl puke one time because she was such a sugar addict from drinking the coffee. We still grinded her through the fast. She did good, but she fucking threw up from the fucking withdrawals. Like, this is how hardcore this is. People are puking from withdrawals. Like, it's fucking... Jeez, it doesn't seem so serious when you're just chowing down that sugar and drinking that coffee until you fucking cut it out of your life also with food for fucking 36 or 48 hours. Then it's fucking, then you, it gives you a rude awakening how fucking much of an act, addict you really are. So, everyone have a great day. Stop drinking fucking coffee. And you know what? One last thing. Anything that the masses are doing without any science... Anything that the fucking mainstream masses are doing is usually, if you do the exact opposite, you're usually on the right track because people are fucking addicts. They are addicts. So if you're doing something different than them, if you're not watching porn, if you're not drinking coffee, if you're not drinking alcohol, if you're not eating sugar, definitely that's the fucking better fucking path than what the mainstream's doing. So always pay attention to that first before you don't even have to look into the fucking science. You just gotta pay attention to that kind of shit right off the bat. Then do some self experimentation. Then you'll it'll lead you to reading about the science when you get passionate and see the fucking results first. So stop drinking fucking coffee. Everyone have a great day and get that fucking fat in you.